began with the vision of helping the people here in Papua New Guinea. We started in a basement about five years ago with nothing more than a computer and a small prayer card. A pastor in the local area had been praying about the property that he owned and how he could use it for God's work. And then somehow we came, I came across with Gary and then discussed it with my family and they were so happy. And nothing else, we cannot hold back. They agreed with me, so we already have given the slip for you to come and set your pace. As I stand here in WeWAC P&G on the land that God has provided, it's exciting to see the, the community here come together and the Pasa clan uh, who donated this land to us and to be able to come here and, and serve the people in this area as well as the Seafood region and the Outer Islands. It's a wonderful place. And this land will someday have missionary houses with kids running around, pilots and families who are serving this area. Samaritan Aviation has already partnered with the Borum Hospital. We'll be able to provide and spread health care throughout this whole East Pacific area, approximately a million people. Samaritan Aviation uh, coming into Liwe will really complement the efforts of the health department in terms of delivering basic health services to our rural people in the province. The airplane Samaritan Aviation plans to bring to the area is a Cessna 206, much like this airplane here. The only difference is the airplane that we'll be bringing has amphibious floats. The East Pacific province has a lot of villages that are surrounded by water. Samaritan Aviation plans to help service these areas by providing emergency medical evacuation, community health programs, as well as showing the Jesus film and working with local churches to start mission initiatives out in the bush. We've just seen a little boy who fell out of a tree and was nearly bled to death from a ruptured spleen. In the village, they bleed to death. They can't get in. They fall out of a tree, a tree falls on them, a crocodile gets them. These people die in the village. So having a float plane on the sea bay would usher in a whole new era of health care for these people up the river. It's been my pleasure to make two trips to Papua New Guinea. On my first trip, I was able to see the needs of the hospital, both for surgical supplies and pharmaceuticals. After our return home, the generous support of Samaritan Aviation supporters allowed us to send a 40-foot container of surgical supplies and medications that were uh, used over the last year. On my second trip, I was able to see the difference that that container made in people's lives and in the hospital, and I was also able to see the continued needs of the people and of the hospital staff. Samaritan Aviation is also working with local churches and local pastors to provide transportation to go out into the local areas where people don't know the love of Christ. We believe that Jesus came to heal the sick and to make the blind see, and it's exciting to come over here and not only to share about Jesus, but also help them physically and also empower them to help themselves. At Samaritan Aviation, we believe strongly in the power of short-term mission trips. It's an excellent opportunity for people from the United States to come over, experience what's going on here in Papua New Guinea, catch the vision for Samaritan Aviation and our ministry here, as well as have an impact on the lives of the people in Papua New Guinea. One of the great things about supporting Samaritan Aviation is that you can see your contributions being multiplied exponentially. God will take $5, $20, and turn it into 50 200 2000 uh, we saw that when we brought the first container here. It cost us $12,000 to ship it, and it was over half a million dollars worth of supplies. That's all God, and that's exciting to be a part of. Some of the goals for Samaritan Aviation would be to minister to people that are on the islands, also getting enough funding to be able to uh, send over our first missionaries and uh, give them a place to live and pop in again. It's a great news and great excitement among our government officials as well as rural population of our province when they heard that Samaritan Aviation is coming in to uh, establish its, its base in women. There's clearly a need here. The people are incredible. Uh, I, I can't wait to come back again, but, but we definitely need help. It's exciting to be here and to see what God is doing. Won't you join us on this adventure in faith?